Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be installing and configuring PowerShell Web Access on Windows Server 2019. PowerShell Web Access is a server feature that provides a web-based PowerShell console. After installing and configuring it, you can access PowerShell Web Console from any device using a standard web browser. First, I'm going to right click on a start button and let's select a Windows PowerShell admin. Let's maximize the console. First, we are going to install a Windows PowerShell Web Access Server feature. And for that, we are going to use a same delete install hyphen Windows feature. Then I'm going to use a switch hyphen include management tools. Now we can press enter key to install a Windows PowerShell Web Access. Remember, a Windows PowerShell Web Access also requires IIS web service. So if you don't have IIS service installed on your server, this command is also going to install IIS web service as well. Now we need to configure the Windows PowerShell Web Access Gateway. But before we do that, let's open IIS Management Console because I want to show you something. Let's click on Start button and let's click on Windows Administrative Tools. Let's select IIS Manager and let's double click on it. Let's maximize the console. Let's click on our server name which is Server 2019. First of all, I'm going to click on Server Certificate. We don't have any server certificate on our server. Let's expand Sites and let's click on Default Website. You can see we don't have any virtual directory under our default website. In the second step, we are going to configure the Windows PowerShell Web Access Gateway. It is a matter of configuring IIS to associate the Gateway Web Application called PSWA with the website and secure the website with a digital certificate. Let's go back to Windows PowerShell Console and here we need to use simdelete install hyphen PSWA web application. I'm also going to use additional switch hyphen use test certificate that is going to generate a self-signed certificate for our server. And it is also going to bind that certificate with our default website. For a production environment, you should use a valid certificate that has been signed by a public certificate authority. Let's provide switch hyphen use test certificate. Let's press enter key. As you can see, it is currently generating a self-signed certificate. You can see already web application pool is created with the path slash PSWA and as you can see the physical path is mentioned there C colon slash windows slash web slash PowerShell web access slash www root. And that certificate is also successfully bind with our default website. Let's confirm that thing. Let's go back to IIS Manager Console. First of all, I'm going to click on our server name. Let's double click on server certificate. And here we have our one new self-signed certificate. Let's click on sites, right click on it and select refresh. Let's expand default website. And here we have our one virtual directory with the name PSWA. That is a short form of PowerShell Web Access. If we click on application pools, here we can see we have a one application pool for our PowerShell web access with the name PSWA underscore pool. At this point, you can access PowerShell web access URL, but you are not able to log in inside PowerShell web access. Why? Because still certain configuration is pending. So let's go back to PowerShell and let's perform the additional configuration. First of all, I'm going to clear the screen. Now we need to use command add hyphen PSWA authorization rule to configure an authorization rule. Same delete will be add hyphen PSWA authorization rule. We need to specify additional switch hyphen configuration name. Here I'm going to specify Microsoft dot PowerShell. Then we can specify a username or user group who can access a PowerShell web access. Here I'm going to specify the username. In our case, I'm going to specify our domain administrator must be noob.lab slash administrator. If you want, you can specify asterisk value for any user account. 
Here I am going to specify one more additional switch computer name. If you want, you can specify a name of computer group as well. But here I want to use computer name only. Here if you want, you can specify asterisk value for any computer name. Let's do that. Let's press enter key. Okay, authorization rule is created successfully. Again, I want to remind you, under destination, you can see asterisk values there. Here, asterisk means access from any computer. Now, we are going to test whether we can access PowerShell Web Access or not from our Windows 10 client computer. So, let's go to our Windows 10 client computer. This computer is part of our Active Directory domain, must be noob.lab. Let's specify URL. HTTPS colon double slash server 2019 dot must be noob dot lab slash PSWA. Let's press enter key. As you can see, we are receiving a certificate error. Why? Because we are using self signed certificate. Let's click on details and click on go on the web page. And as you can see, we are successfully able to access Windows PowerShell Web Access Login Console. Here I am using the credential of a domain admin administrator at mustbenoob.lab. And already I have specified the password of our domain admin. Under connection type, we are going to use computer name, but here we have one more options and that is connection URI. Under computer name, I am going to specify a name of our domain controller that is server2019.mustbenoob.lab. If you want to access optional connection settings, you can click on this drop down menu. But we don't need at this time. Let's click on sign in. Let's click on never. And as you can see, we are successfully able to connect to this PowerShell console using PowerShell Web Access. But how we can confirm that we are connected with our domain controller? First of all, I'm going to run command hostname. Let's click on submit. And as you can see, our host name is there, server2019. That means we are connected with our domain controller. Let's go back to our DC. Here I'm going to run one cmdelete get hyphen net IP configuration. Let's press enter key. From the output of the cmdelete, you can verify our IP address is there, 192.168.1.10 with the default gateway 192.168.1.1. Let's run the same cmdelete from PowerShell Web Access Console. Let's click on submit. As you can see, interface name is there, but the most important thing is that you can confirm that IP address is 192.168.1.10 with the default gateway 192.168.1.1. That means we are connected with a domain controller server2019.mustbenoob.lab. You can verify that here. As you can see, it is listed as connected to server2019.mustbenoob.lab. In this lab guide, we have learned the steps to install and configure PowerShell Web Access in Windows Server 2019.